Hello everyone! So now we're doing another MP comparison video. So we're going to be doing the MP21 Bumblebee versus the MPM3 Bumblebee. Very, very different car modes. <laughs> the, main, the main thing is... Different shade of yellow. Different shade of yellow. That's the very. That's the main difference. That's what really separates these two guys apart. Yeah, that's, that's the main difference. That's the first thing you'll notice that the different shade of yellow. But um, yeah, this is much more accurate to his on-screen model than this one. This one's a more realistic car, which the show, cartoon Bumblebee does not look like a realistic car at all. He was a little squat thing, whereas this was the tw 2007 concept Camaro, and it. It looks pretty spot on. They do have a very similar thing where they store their guns under them. It's pretty neat. But I would say this one is more accurate to its on-screen counterpart than this one is. But different styles. This was before the Super Tune Accurate era. Whereas this one is a replica of the movie character. But I would say, in my opinion, I like this vehicle mode better than this one. That's just me. You might like this one better if you like old cars. Totally up to you. Which uh, I will say the MPM7 Bumblebee does look like this one, just upsized in vehicle mode. So there is that. But I like the Camaro better. Because I, like I like the Camaro. I think it's a cool looking car. But that's just me. What do you think? I like both of these. They achieve, they go for something different. They're not trying to really compete with, with each other, which is like the complete opposite of what this whole uh, series is doing. So yeah. just kind of that. <laughs> I love the Beetle. I love the Camaro. Although I do like um, the real life Beetle more just because I think it's like a classic car. I think it looks great. Um, it, it feels nice. It's, it's really little. This guy does have some heft to him, which uh, which I do like. I like when a transformer figure of this size is, is heavy. Um, nice shade of yellow. It's not really accurate either. It is actually supposed to be a little closer to this uh, darker yellow color, because huh. you can tell Bumblebee was more uh, a little more a little more orangish yellow than bright yellow in the movies. But it's not like it's not like a big deal if it really matters to you. I mean, Bumblebee's supposed to be a yellow guy, so I mean, yellow word. So I, I think I think this is fine. I don't think the different shade really uh, throws him off. I don't know that it would change anything. much, in all honesty. I don't know. It could just be like a uh, like a personal preference if you would like Bumblebee to have movie Bumblebee movie yeah. Bumblebee to have a darker yellow. I could always yeah. just repaint this if they really wanted to, but. They're not gonna. No. So, anywho, that's basically it for the vehicle mode comparison. Um, I like the Camaro. He likes the Volkswagen. I do. I do like both. I I have this figure. I don't have the MPM figure, but I do think this car mode is pretty sweet. And honestly, I would probably have to say it might also be be better than this one. I don't know, but I still I still really do like both. So with that out of the way, we're going to switch them over to Raw Mode. So we'll be right back with that right after this. And here we are with them in Robot Mode. As you can see, MPM3 is a lot bigger. Just a little bit. Just well, little bigger. he's standard uh, car bot size, whereas he's one of the smallest MPs, honestly. I think the only ones smaller than him are the cassettes. Yeah. But, um... He's a little guy. Articulation-wise, I've gone over this in the reviews, but he's got his waist, he's got his legs, he's got his knees. And he's got the awesome... Ball joints, and he's got a... The awesome pivot. It's not even on camera. Yeah, the pivot. There you go. His elbow joint's not great, and doesn't have a wrist. And his head's okay. The piece falls off. Yeah, it's that's... really an... not great. That's an optional part, though. He's got way more articulation. He's got his waist. His legs can go up this far. He's got a big knee joint. He also does have a pivot. It's not as good as his pivot, if I'm honest. His arms full 360, in and out. He could bend here for some reason. Elbow, wrist, 
His hands... His, his hands are loaded. His hands open and close. He can give you a thumbs up. Yeah. Pretty cool. Or thumbs down, depending on how he's feeling. He's yeah. Bad. He's having a bad yeah, day. Yeah, man. You know. Or his thoughts after watching The Last Night. Oh, God. His head can do a... Not a full 360, actually. For some reason. That's because he's got this big neck. Yeah. Oh, well. And he can look up and he can look a little bit down so he's he's actually much more articulate than that than the uh, mp21 is cleaner back too okay, yeah uh, cleaner back which is understandable i mean this guy is you do just see the back of the car but again him, but i'm gonna I, I don't know, i'm gonna argue i think he's more accurate to his on-screen counterpart than he is it's really not even a case of arguing i mean this guy just barely looks like the animation model in G1. I mean, granted, G1's like highly <laughs> inconsistent, so there's probably. That's something I'll give him P45. Couple. He's much more accurate to the screen counterpart from in, the front. In, in, <laughs> gen in, in general, he is more accurate, but this there's probably a few frames in the G1 episode where Bumblebee looks like this for some yeah. demented reason. What? Yeah, it's without question. This guy is like way more accurate. Like. Almost spot on. Yeah, and he's got his gun, which is pretty cool. I always have him pose with the gun. It looks awesome. And Bumblebee has this gun for some reason? It's a little tiny gun. Doesn't look anything like Bumblebee's gun. He was never blue. This is but like the same kind of gun Ironhide used when he got gunned down at the end, at the beginning of the movie. Ironhide had two of these, except they were silver. <laughs> Um, and he's also got his battle mask. Which, Bumble that Bumblebee also does have a battle mask. But it's it's like a, a separate piece that you gotta buy. Yeah, it's like an Amazon Japan exclusive or something. I have no clue. But uh, I got I got it off a of Big Bad Toy Store, so you can get it there for like five bucks. I I'd say it's worth it. In my opinion, and again, this is, this is, just, this, this is all opinion... I actually like the MPM more than I like the MP. This is honestly my favorite Bumblebee figure. Just any continuity. This is my favorite Bumblebee figure. I think he's really well done. What about you? Well, I can't really say from much experience. I mean, I only have this guy... And I think I think he's a wonderful figure. The transformation. Oh, I don't is think awesome. he's. I don't think he's bad. Don't misunderstand me. But but I mean I, if I if I were to pick, I would probably go with this guy. I just think the design looks cooler. This guy, he's a he's really fat. His face is not very appealing. He fits um, well with MB10. He does. And uh, he's not very articulated. Like, the lack of wrist swivel is just really bizarre. It is. Figure. This guy is way more detailed. He's bigger. I mean, obviously, I mean, different scale. Like, a movie on, Bumblebee is bigger than G1 Bumblebee. I mean, it's just a state of fact. But um, I do think this guy looks cooler. I that That's just uh, me, uh, my opinion based on the look. Again, I can't say too much. I don't have this figure. I would like to have it one day if I could find it for a good price that wasn't like three hundred bucks. For some yeah, I found this guy at a convention for like eighty bucks. Lucky bastard. It was the it was my first MPM figure actually. Neat. But um, anywho, that's gonna be it for this uh, versus video. And unlike last time, I'm gonna say the if I think the MPM won here. I would say the MPM is the winner. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Next time, I think, is Ironhide. Ah, oh, dear God. I think next is Ironhide. So stay tuned for Ironhide. That one's going to be fun. Until then, you guys have a good one. Take care. <laughs>